Hey guys, so welcome back to another vlog. How is everybody doing today? I'm gonna just get ready for the day. I wanna do just very simple everyday makeup and just put myself together and we're gonna do a little shopping at TJ Maxx. I've been seeing so many cute TJ Maxx hauls and I wanna go see what's new and see if I can find a new purse for spring. So of course I wanna bring you guys along and we're just gonna hang out and shop together. I have a few little updates, nothing crazy. So since my last vlog, I told you guys that my dad was potentially gonna be getting a new dog because he had applied and long story short, it did not happen, which honestly I was really sad about and my dad was too, because he was really looking forward to it and we were both like 90% sure that he was gonna get the dog. Like I was actually shocked that he didn't. So a little bit of a backstory, my dad ended up applying for the dog and the woman from the rescue reached out to schedule a home visit and the same day that they came to my dad's house, he got approved. And P.S. The dog's name is Bailey and he looks just like Bernard. Like they could actually be twins. It would have been so freaking cute to see them together. He ended up getting approved and then so he calls the woman and he wants to set up a meeting time to meet the dog. And basically what she ends up telling my dad is that whoever is fostering the dog, they decided to keep him. Which I just think it was a little bit weird because it's like the dog has been up for adoption for quite some time and it's like the one time that my dad gets approved they want to keep him so i don't really understand the full story because i didn't speak to the woman my dad spoke to her so i just don't know the full story but from what my understanding i feel like whoever is fostering the dog they must have just got attached to him and they just didn't want to let him go which i totally understand because honestly i'd be the same way like if i was fostering animals i would want to keep every single one of them i can imagine how difficult that must be but it was just kind of weird because like i said my dad got approved for the dog but i think the real thing was they don't want the dog to be by itself for a long period of time and my dad still works. I mean, they knew that when he applied and everything, but a part of me feels like they got attached to the dog, but at the same time, they probably wanted someone different for this dog specifically. Maybe somebody who was gonna be home all the time. I don't really know. I think it just wasn't meant to be because we prayed about it and we were talking about it and it's like, you know, if it didn't work out, it's for a reason, so it's okay. Totally happy as long as the dog is okay. That's what we both told the woman from the rescue because I was there when they actually did my dad's home visit because my dad's my neighbor. We literally live like one minute away from each other. So I was just basically there to let her know that I'm close by, that I will always help with the dog, you know, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, that's kind of a little bit of the backstory. I'm not sure if my dad is going to apply for another dog because he honestly got his hopes up for this dog. Also, I want to thank you so much for the birthday wishes i just turned 27 on march 24th so thank you guys for all of your messages and sweet comments you're the best me and hector went to new york for my birthday weekend and it was so much fun we actually went and stayed at the one hotel brooklyn bridge which was so beautiful i mean it was a really nice location too whenever we go to new york we have been staying at the one hotel central park which is also a really good location but the brooklyn bridge has beautiful views and it's definitely a totally different environment it's a little bit more chill and quiet it was just really nice so that was a lot of fun we stayed for the weekend and we went to dinner at one of our favorite restaurants and then we also went to go see the statue of liberty because i actually saw it when i was younger in i think i was like in middle school or something but hector never saw it so we went to go do that we took a little ferry ride there which was fun we also went to the museum of sex which was very interesting i definitely recommend we were looking up just different things to do in New York and we came across the Museum of Sex in an article actually. So we were like, let's check that out. And we got in and it was really fun. We're actually gonna be doing another trip coming up in April. We're going out of the country, which I'm so excited about because we haven't been out of the country since before the pandemic. We were actually gonna do an out of the trip that we're going to in April for my birthday, but we decided since March is kind of like spring break, we didn't want that to interfere with anything. Big crowds, a lot of people, all that stuff. So I was like, let's just go in April and I'm so excited. So I also want to see if I can find any cute little bathing suits, like just any vacation stuff as well. And I'm not gonna use any primer because I'm using a new foundation that I've been testing out. It's the Say Beauty Glowy Foundation and this is best with no primer. I just used it again yesterday and it definitely wore better than the first time that I used it, but it's still not my favorite foundation, but I wanna keep testing it out because I always like to give foundations a couple tries before I officially rank it off my list. It always feels so weird though not doing any skin prep because I feel like I need a little something. I'm gonna just spray some of the Rare Beauty four-in-one spray just for a little boost of hydration. 
also wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about why I'm not vegan anymore because I did mention this in my last vlog and so many of you guys were like what did I miss are you not vegan because I know not everybody watches every single video which I get because I did talk about it in my Q&A back in December actually so it's been a while I decided not to be vegan anymore because I personally just didn't want to it didn't feel right mentally I was just struggling with food and having restrictions it just wasn't healthy for me let me just preface this by saying that I'm not trying to bash veganism either because it definitely taught me a lot and there's still a lot of things that I implement in my life because of veganism so like I said it taught me a lot I think it's great it's just not for me anymore and like I said it's it wasn't all bad because I definitely had great moments being vegan and I love a lot of vegan food vegan restaurants I still eat a lot of the same meals to this day the main thing was I just really wanted to start eating fish and eggs and stuff like that but other than that I pretty much eat everything that I used to eat I had a lot of moments where I felt amazing and I felt like I was going to be vegan for the rest of my life but then there was other times where I felt like I was restricted and I couldn't do things that I enjoyed with my friends and family because I was vegan and I was like, I don't want to be put in this label and in this category anymore. I just don't want to do it. I think people should just do your own research, eat what you want. And I also don't want to keep promoting that on my socials and just on my page. It's just not me anymore. I know that sounds kind of crazy because being vegan, um, it's not a negative thing, but I feel like everything works differently for everybody. And when it comes to food, it's such a personal thing. Literally me and Hector still now, like he's not vegan anymore, but we eat different things even now sometimes for dinner because different things work differently for everybody. We all have our own health journeys and things that we want to do, things that we should eat, things that we shouldn't eat, you know? And it's just very personal for everybody. So I just don't want to also ever want to send a wrong message to anyone in regards to food and diet. Everyone should just eat whatever they want whatever works for them everybody is different do your own research when it comes to diets anything and i'm not just talking about veganism i'm talking about being vegetarian doing keto like anything just always do your research and figure out if that really is what's best for you you just because something works for somebody doesn't mean that it's going to work for other people i just don't want to send bad messages of relating to food i mean obviously from the beginning that was never my intention but i can see how just diet culture it's very toxic and i don't want to be a part of that i just want to eat whatever i want honestly and whatever makes me feel good and i want the same for everybody as well so that's kind of how i feel about everything and no matter what i say or what i do whether i'm vegan whether i'm not people will always have negative thoughts and negative opinions on that and that's okay it's just the internet so i'm just also trying to accept that i can't please everybody i always want everybody to like me but really that's just not realistic especially on the internet so yeah i know some people when i did talk about this they were disappointed because i know a couple of you guys told me that you followed me and you really enjoyed that part of my life because you related to it but at the end of the day we all have to do what works best for us i definitely feel so much happier not restricting myself i feel just so much better, more mental clarity. I hope that makes sense. I know I'm like kind of talking in circles a little bit, but that's, there's really no specific reason other than I didn't want to do it anymore and I wasn't feeling the best. I just feel like I'm thriving and I'm also, I'm working out, but at the same time I'm eating basically whatever I want and I'm feeling good about it. You know, I don't feel like I have any regrets. I feel, I mean, I have my days, I'm not perfect, but I've just been feeling so much better, more free, more like myself. I am also these days just trying to keep up with the life, adulting, work, relationships, being a married woman. It's like, I don't even know how I grew up so fast. Like how is all this stuff happening? I talked about it a little bit in my get ready with me that I did for my birthday glam on my main channel. And it's just a lot of you guys agree, but growing up and aging and getting older is the weirdest thing. It's this is just so crazy to me. I'm so excited to just go to TJ Maxx and kind of just chill. It's my chill day today. I mean, I did do some work earlier. I got my video, it's almost done. But I got up early because I've been struggling with getting good rest. It's on and off, it fluctuates, but I think I talked about this before, but I have a never ending to-do list in my brain. So my brain's constantly going. It's very difficult for me to turn it off and relax and be in the moment and not think about the 5,000 things that I have to do. It's definitely a struggle for me. It's always been a struggle, but just to balance everything and keep up with everything. And this is also 
me not complaining. I am so blessed. So I never want this or these kind of chit chats to ever come off that way. I want this to just be girl time. You know, we're just hanging out, chatting, and I'm just like updating you guys on things and my thoughts and what's on my mind. So I just never want it to come off that I am complaining. What I was gonna say is that I've been struggling to just kind of keep it all together. You know, it's a lot. Being an adult and just work and working on yourself and then maintaining relationships and everything it's definitely been a struggle for me it's honestly always been a struggle but i feel like lately work has been a little bit more demanding and i'm definitely overwhelmed a lot of the time because i go through my mental battles where i feel like i'm not doing enough and the main thing for me is youtube youtube that's my bread and butter that's what i love i love long form content but it's just it's so much goes into one youtube video especially compared to filming reels and tiktoks which those can take a while too especially if you're doing a couple throughout the day but i feel like youtube is a beast it definitely takes up the majority of my time so i feel like whenever i'm doing really good on youtube like this week was a good week because i'm actually the video that i'm gonna be posting either today or tomorrow that's my third video of the week which makes me so happy i want to go back to doing three videos a week but again i'm just kind of struggling with time because youtube takes up so much time which obviously like I'm, i don't care i love it but the editing lately has been a bit of a struggle i've been doing it for so long so it does get super repetitive at this point but the issue for me is I am such a control freak that I could get an editor and I was actually going to go through with it last year. I even had like a Zoom call and everything with the girl. She was so sweet. Her resume, everything was amazing. But when it came down to actually doing it, I couldn't. I have such a hard time letting go and giving control to people, especially with my things, like with my YouTube and my videos. It's like, that's my baby. You know, it's very hard for me to let go. So I'm just in a constant battle of trying to balance everything, but also at the same time feeling like I'm not doing enough because I can't do everything. I'm like, I wish I could clone myself or I wish there was more hours in the day. So I have been thinking, about getting an editor maybe reaching out to that girl again because she told me that i could if i changed my mind but that was like a year ago actually i don't even know if like her email is still the same and she's still doing that i don't know i just feel like i want to be able to do more things like be more consistent in other platforms but it's sometimes difficult for me like i said because when i'm doing great on youtube i'm kind of neglecting my other socials and then when i'm doing great and being so consistent with socials and short form content that I'm not super consistent with YouTube. And also to be honest, I kind of struggle with letting go and giving control up with my business and with everything because I didn't always have the best experience with that. So a few years back, I actually did a trial period where I got to have a manager for, it was like six months. And it was a trial, which I was so grateful for because I didn't sign anything. It was just truly a trial period. And I mean, at first I thought it was great, but after a while when I finished, I was like, no, this is actually not for me. It just didn't leave the best taste in my mouth because the management agency that I was with personally, I felt like they really wanted to just take full control over all of my things, videos, content, AdSense, I mean like everything. And also on top of that, they wanted to change my name. At the time, they didn't really want me to keep moving forward with Juicy Jazz and it just was very off-putting. It didn't feel right. I knew then and there I didn't want to keep doing that. And like I said, it just kind of left a bad taste in my mouth. And from that point, I was like, I'm going to keep doing this how I want to do it. And I'm going to do it on my own. Because at that point, I was like, I made it this far without anyone. I don't need a manager. And so I kind of had that mindset up until this point. And I still don't want a manager to be honest because i don't like the idea of giving control of like my emails and those kind of things but i think for me right now an editor would be really good so like my advice always to people who are looking into management is just be careful do your research and make sure that whoever is managing you they have your best interest at heart because sometimes these managers they really don't they just want money at the end of the day and they want to get a big chunk of your money i'm really happy that that did not go through but i'm also really happy that i got to kind of experience what it's like having a manager because i remember at the time when i would watch other people on youtube like just vlogs and stuff i almost felt like whenever people would mention oh my management team or my manager it was kind of romanticized in a way so i was super also intrigued at that point to have a manager and i was like oh should i have a manager and everything so i was happy i was able to experience that for myself and figure out it was not for me and of course that was just my experience in one agency there's so many that i'm sure are amazing and that are very beneficial but that one for me is just it's just not it i was gonna do false lashes but i think i'm just gonna leave it as is let's do a little lip combo rare beauty 
wise lip pencil i love this the foundation definitely looks so much better today than when i first used it and even yesterday but it definitely still does cling to certain areas that's the only thing i don't love about it and it can look kind of makeup-y on the skin i'm using dose of colors lip oil by the way in pretty casual i love it with this lip liner so this is the completed makeup look i set my makeup with the rare beauty spray i forgot how much i really love this i just got a new bottle this is amazing it's so dewy but it's also like that pretty dew like it's not greasy just adds a really nice healthy glow to the skin i have no idea where i left off because my camera keeps dying and overheating but this is it just simple everyday makeup so let's go shopping on a lighter note because i know i talked about so much i don't even know if anything that i talked about made sense we'll see but let's go shopping found some goodies these hoops look super cute i may get these actually because i like the shade of gold that they are and also these little heart ones are super cute they're really fun they would be cute for like valentine's day so maybe i won't get those but i love these these are pretty too they're just like a classic hoop okay but these are actually so pretty why do i kind of want these um yeah these are perfection i love how chunky these are i'm getting these i'm gonna add these to my cart and think about it because like really where am i gonna wear these to but they could be a little date night option okay this is the real reason why i came here new purse i actually really like this one from steve madden this is pretty this color is pretty okay she's cute i wish the logo was a little bit smaller but it's still pretty this one's really pretty too i'm gonna add this one to car too and just think about it oh this is kind of cute and simple it's two little straps it's nanette lapore Eh, actually no this coach bag is also super pretty i love the color but it's kind of dirty like it's scuffed and it's also scuffed on the back too and it sucks because that's a pretty bag i found this black and gold bag and i think it's gorgeous i love the gold hardware like the shade of gold i think this is the winner this is so pretty always gotta take a peek at the makeup section at tj maxx and they have the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer i also see some urban decay naked palettes here this is the wild west palette i think this just came out recently like a year or two ago 25 bucks and they also have oh wow this is actually a newer palette this came out just recently this past holiday i think i see frank body here oh my gosh i love this coffee scrub i've never tried this one it's the peppermint coffee scrub but the original is one of my favorites it smells so good and it leaves your body really soft just grabbed a bamboo little scalp massager i had a scalp massager i honestly have no idea what happened to it so get me another one this one's six bucks. These shoes are so cute. They remind me of like Lizzie McGuire or Mary Kate and Ashley. These sandals are also really pretty. Definitely vacation vibes. I like how thick the strap is or like this band part right here. Okay, wait, the earrings with this dress. It's kind of like vacation, dinner, date night. I think I like this. I did not feel like trying stuff on, but how freaking cute is this pink top? Mine, I love this dress. First of all, can you imagine if I wore it with sneakers? I just don't feel like taking off my leggings because they're workout leggings and they're so tight and I have my cami under here, but the dress, I love it. The robe is also a winner. This is so soft. And it says juicy in the back. It's juicy couture. Successful shopping trip. I'm gonna get these two the robe and the other goodies in the cart. That was such a successful TJ Maxx trip. I got my purse, I got some jewelry, I got a little bit of everything. So let me show you what I got. First, I picked up this new wreath for the front door. It's so pretty for spring and summer. I love the little pink. What are these, rosebuds? Do you hear my stomach growling? I'm getting hungry. I'm debating getting sushi, but I also want to get a workout in today, so I probably shouldn't eat sushi. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to wait to work out. So maybe I could order the sushi, get a workout in. I could do that, actually. I could go to the gym right now because I have my sneakers on. I didn't bring any water. I've just been doing 12, 3.30. Sometimes I'll do some workouts like at home watching YouTube videos, but I've been really loving 12, 3.30, which is basically when you put the incline on 12, speed three for 30 minutes. It's pretty intense, and I am like usually dripping sweat, but 
I've been really enjoying that workout and I love that I can just get it done 30 minutes and I'm done anyways then I got some of the jewelry basically all the jewelry that I showed you guys and first I got these hoops which are so pretty they're like a good medium size hoop $12.99 I like the shade of gold too some golds I don't really like because sometimes they're too yellow but this is nice and then I ended up getting the emerald earrings they're just so pretty and perfect with that green dress that I got. Or even just in general, I feel like you could wear a lot of different outfits and then spice it up with your jewelry. So those are really pretty. And then I got those little chunky hoops too. I love these for every day. I love TJ Maxx and Marshall's room sprays. They smell so good. $4.99, this one smells amazing. Definitely a good beauty room or office scent. Cashmere, Ugh, it smells so good. It's like sophisticated. I thought somebody was beeping at me. I'm like, who is that? But okay. Bamboo scalp massager. I had a scalp massager. I have no idea what happened to it. So I got a new one. And I like this one too because you get the little bamboo holder. So it's going to be nice to get in there. I had to get the Juicy Couture robe. First of all, you guys know I'm obsessed with pink. But it says Juicy on the back. And this was $19.99. I got a small, medium. I love robes. I'm always in robes whenever I'm in the house getting ready or just relaxing. Robes are my favorite thing to throw on. And this is super soft. It's like a nice like velvet material. I also got the little cropped pink top. Perfect with jeans and sneakers. I also even have this cute little pink pair of heels that I think would be nice with like flared jeans this and then you can spice up such a basic top like this with really pretty jewelry and I just love it I love this color pink so that by the way was $9.99 and I really like this brand too sincerely jewels and then I got the green dress like I showed you guys this is a really pretty green too perfect for summer and I really also love dresses like this whenever I travel or just in general because it's so easy you just throw this on really cute pair of earrings little sandals and you're good to go. I got these little seamless thongs. Look how comfortable these look. They're like no show. I like the variety in here, super pretty. There's like cars driving by. I don't even care anymore, honestly. I'm never gonna see these people again. <laughs> but aren't they so nice? I love thongs like this. So first of all, I'm always wearing thongs. I know some people are like against thongs and they think they're so uncomfortable, but I think you have to find the right ones because if you do, and if you get good seamless thongs, I really like the ones from Skims. Amazon has really good ones too, but these kind of remind me of a pair that I got from Amazon before. But if you get the right kind, they can actually be even more comfortable than regular underwear. But yeah, $12.99 for this little five pack, such a steal. And the main reason I came out here in the first place, look at this purse. This is such a hidden gem. It's so pretty. This is gonna be just like, the go-to bag. It's black and gold, which I love, but I also love this kind of gold too. It's like rustic. So pretty. I love Steve Madden. I love his shoes. I love his bags. And this was $34.99. So really good size too. It's not too big, but it's also deep. So you could fit quite a few different things in here. Okay. Pretty good size, to be honest. I just love it. I love the texture of it. I like the style. I don't have anything like this. So yeah, you guys, I think I might go to the gym. I'm going to do my 12, 3.30, call it a day. I'm going to come back home, shower, and then I have to finish editing my video. That's pretty much it. I might pick up sushi or I might just make something at home. I'm not really sure. Maybe I'll save sushi for the weekend. Maybe I'll do that. I also am going to be doing some spring cleaning in the house because we need it so bad. I want to declutter and organize our pantry. I also have a bunch of little nooks and crannies in the house that need to be organized and decluttered. And I've been planning on doing that video, but I don't know if that's something you guys would be interested in. I know I'm always decluttering makeup, but I'm like, maybe I should declutter house stuff on camera with you guys. I don't know. Is that super boring? Let me know. All right. That's officially it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you very soon in my next one. Bye.